Hello and welcome to our video on the Banshee sound controller. The Banshee has a built-in 60 watt stereo amplifier. So up on the top right you have left and right channel outputs to go to speakers. This is 4 to 8 ohm speakers only. Next to that, if you want to go to a powered speaker or an external amplifier, you can use that using the built-in stereo jack. Then we have the micro SD card that is included with the controller that holds all the configuration and sounds. Down on the other side, we have the playing output. This operates in a very similar way to output zero on our prop controllers, has the same modes. And then we have six isolated inputs, positive and negative over here to power your sensors, and then six inputs. The way the isolated inputs works is you need between 5 and 24 volts between C and a number. So generally that will include a jumper wire from positive to C and then controlling the negative to a number. You can see more in the user manual or in the user manual for your sensor. So what we've done is we configured the Banshee in the Banshee configuration utility. There's a separate video for that. There's also a user manual. We've configured it to use an ambient sound and a sound on input one. We've also set the controller to the desired volume using the volume dial on the side. If you don't want to use the volume dial, you can also use the configuration utilities to set the volume for the entire controller or just the volume for each input. We've then hooked up two speakers to the amp output, an LED to playing output, and then we've hooked up just a simple push button to input one. This can again be a motion sensor or a beam sensor. Just reference the user manual or the user manual for your sensor or trigger. So when we plug in the Banshee, it's going to start automatically playing the ambient sounds and it'll loop those until input one occurs. So we plug it in and now we have the ambient sound. And again, that'll play until we push our push button playing output will turn on and then when that's done it will go back to the ambient sounds now that's the basic use of the banshee again the configuration is covered in another video or the user manual thank you for watching